Ja, ja. Hey, ist das ist echt toll. Das ist ein cooles Studio. Yes,我把它放在一个那个稳度形式点，这个就是猫咪的尾巴。我们用猫咪尾巴来取代。我们先画素描稿，画完之后会粘在木头上，然后再开始去去做那个机器的镂空。Okay, so you put this is yeah his first attempt, but he he didn't do a good job of it. So he put it. He was meant to be in the front of the the car. What well, um? So did you break? Uh, yeah, it's break. 然后在我的作品里面有一个非常强烈的呃视觉语言，就是传统的民俗工艺或是传统的民俗信仰。那这个传统的民俗工艺跟民俗信仰呢，其实是来自于我们家早期在那个文化中心附近开了一个金纸店。然后我的作品会有一个，我觉得是嗯一种叛逆呐、啊，或者说这种反骨的一个一个语言在里面，会源自于。我常常观察这些买纸钱的人，然后他们烧了纸钱或烧了香，究竟对他们的现实生活有没有什么帮助？圣诞老公公的那个形象嘛，其实那是我创作的一个一个分界点，破坏的方式转而变成是一种，呃，好像有祈求的概念的出现。是我我的最近去年的一个个展叫罗汉罗汉 K。罗汉是指的那个清朝时期来台的那个，呃，神兽啊，或者是老虎，或者是凤凰，我会觉得那种呃圣兽的保护形象离我太遥远，然后我会觉得猫咪它是比较贴近我生活的，所以我就把猫咪的这种呃图像，然后通通改成我自己家的猫咪。但是它是保护的寓意，嗯，有，或是陪伴，或者是照顾。And then they mean care, a company, and yeah, and protection. 这边有九只猫咪，然后这个是有一有一个中国的那种传说，就是龙生九子，然后那只龙龙有九种个性嘛，我把那种九种个性分别转化成，例如说那个龙是贪吃的，它是嗜睡的。然后我就这里面有一些就会跟贪吃啊、嗜睡啊、骄傲啊什么都会有关联。Oh, this one is not looking. 嗯<笑>， this is a shy one. 嗯，转过去，转过去，很害羞。嗯，害羞的 ，a shy one. Yeah. And this is a someone that really enjoys life. 对。Oh yeah. 很享受生活的猫王。Um, so you have as a visual reference, you have the um, traditional way of uh, carving. I can I can recognize some elements from a carving in the temples. Yeah. But also there's a lot of contemporary manga, um, comic, comic book, yeah. or something like this. Like in this way, it's very contemporary. So do you have any visual reference that you oh, some, some um, illustration artist uh, or someone that you get inspired from? Or is it? 神话故事它其实都会有教育的性质，或者是它是祈求的一个概念。那我想要保留的是祈求，或者是那个它最原始的那个寓意。但是我就用我自己的呃生活经验的符号去替换，所以有些会有卡曼，而有些会有一种。生活生活场景会出现。Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's very graphical. Uh, that's what you break the traditional rules. That's what is uh, I find very powerful in this work is that you're using a traditional technique. So at the first sight is like, oh, this is a traditional car temple carving, and then and you're using some elements of. Symmetry and the traditional decoration, but then you break it with your uh, uh, straight lines and 
you know, this kind of um, contemporary design oh, that is maybe very special. How do I turn it on? Can I go? <laughs> <laughs> of two years of uh, communication with uh, Shaolong. So they contacted me two years ago exactly, saying, are you interested? Uh, this is the space, you can do whatever you want. And I was like... Uh, lights behind these scenes, they are all different scenes from uh, different parts of the world, and all the animals are together. And it was originally a paper cut, but then I transformed it into a design that was then printed for this, uh, printed on vinyl. So it's a sticky thing uh, stuck on acrylic. The so I tried and think of the kind of movement that every dance uh, requires and reproduce the movement on the lines. The, the lines are necessary to keep the paper cuts together, mm. otherwise I wouldn't be able yeah, to yeah. keep it in the page. Yeah. But instead of doing just lines, I, would, like, I tried and think as much as possible uh, what kind of you know, this, for example, is the Scottish highlight. They, 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 they do it like this? They, oh, because they go up and they, they go just, up? just do the... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you film that? Should I do it again? No, no, no. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so you can each one. Uh, in a way, yeah. So you, do you know the Sufi where they... So they, they enter in a state of trance and they just turn around and around. This as well, this is called the inhale, exhale, where the book becomes uh, a kind of a body uh, with lungs and vessels and heart and turning the pages is the way to make the, the, the body breathe. Um, and then something happened to me and that was that I was chosen to come in as an artist um, in residence in Shaolong, in Jali, in uh, 2015. And um, I came with my idea of books and book alteration but I was given space so everything something clicked in my head and um, everything changed um, and I made these these are uh, three pieces that are two meter high and um, they are inspired by um, the the way of celebration uh, of celebrating deities in uh, um, especially in the um, uh, Tainan region and in Donggang. And I've been pursuing this, um, this kind of works since. So this is another work where I, I work specifically with words and it's my words. Th those words are taken from the book that I am cutting out uh, as a, a large piece of um, uh, paper cutting. You switched from exploding Santa Claus clothing to spending six months for a panel um, um, and, and, and carving a, a wooden panel. Um, how is time important in your practice now? It's probably just myself. Um, the audience I, I work for is what I, I expect from what amazes me in, in an exhibition is when, is when um, I, I understand, uh, I, I see the artist be beyond the, the work of art, I see uh, their message and I see uh, the, the way to be playful, to, to show their personal touch, to, to show their weaknesses and their research. And, and so that's what I like when I, when I 
when I go to a, uh, to a museum. So I, I, when I do my art, I try and do the same. So I try to speak to someone uh, like myself. <laughs>